So if you're the type of person who uses Twitter, um, I did just make one two days ago. Um, I, I'll post a link for it if you want. It'll always be in the link as well, on the description as well if you want it. Um, it would pretty much just be posting whatever the fuck I feel like uh, because I kind of just like kind of want to document certain things that I don't ever like, record or anything. Just kind of like, you know, random thoughts or whatever. So if you're the type of person who's like into that, feel free to uh, check it out. Um, it would, like I said, it'd be whatever. It'd be RS, real life, whatever I just fucking feel like. Um, nothing too crazy. I'm not that big of a social media person. But, you know, if that's something you're interested in, yeah, it's there. So I was looking through my bank for things to alk in my auto alk with imagery, and I just realized that I actually had a bunch of stuff just sitting in here that I can um, disassemble for fortunate components to get myself the ring, I like the dwarves a lot faster. Um, I'm surprised I didn't come across this. I mean, sure, it's, I, I really don't want to disassemble them. I really want to collect them. But I do plan on going... Uh, for a third age piece in the future, not a full set, because that's obviously just gonna, you know, just kind of, you know, make me want to commit suicide. <laughs> um, but I'm sorry, it, chances of me getting all these back is quite high, and plus, it's nothing really, like, crazy. Like, I mean, it's, it's, like, yeah, I, I really don't, like, have any, like, uh, sentimental value to any of these things, so, um, be a square shield, and the, I can add to the kite. For some reason, you gotta add it to the actual, like, shield. I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Uh, that way you're getting rid of the shield and the uh, kite. As he's, I don't know. Who's, who the fuck sells this piece? Um, but yeah, I gotta make the uh, gotta buy the right half shields. Oh, I think it's this guy. I'm quite positive. Yeah, there you go. 750k. Oh, I forget how expensive that is. Okay. Hashtag worth it because this is obviously going to save me quite some time. Um, was that chisel hammer it said? Or anvil hammer. Okay. Uh, but yeah, it's obviously going to save me quite some time, uh, since, obviously, I, I feel like it's, like, one per clue, pretty much. Um, so, obviously, that's going to save me quite some time just getting the clue and then also solving the clue as well. Actually, I've never made a square shield, come to think of it. This actually is the very first time I've ever done it. Huh. Yeah, and also, I do have um, two other kits as well in my bank. Uh, one for a plate body, one for plate legs, slash skirt. For some reason, I didn't, I didn't have any plate legs and shit. I I know I've gotten them before. Um, I thought I had a second. Wait, did I not have a second? Ah, oh, I'm even thinking this skirt then. No, oh well, whatever. Um, but yeah, because I do have these other two kids, but yeah, I, I guess I just never kept the plate legs. I know I've kept them in the past, but I guess I just ended up just fucking them off. Um, but I guess I'll, I'll keep this square shield just in case I forget another ornament kit. So that'll be pretty nice to have. So let's go ahead and disassemble this. Yeah, fortunate, sweet. Uh, oh, that's right. It's not hundred percent chance. That's right. I was like, oh, where is my um fortunate? There's another fortunate. That's kind of disappointed that one didn't get fortunate. There's another fortunate. Oh, I took a three fortunate. I was gonna shit myself. Wait, no, it is a hundred percent chance actually. So why did I not get a fortunate from that? What, what did I disassemble? That. So that. The wiki could have sworn. Dragon kite shield ornament. No, it doesn't. Uh, I guess just the square shields do. That doesn't make any sense. Why doesn't the kite shield give it? Oh well, whatever. Um. Not like, I'm, I'm going to have a bunch of kite shells anyways by the time I get the QBD pet. Um, but yeah, if you wonder why I'm playing on low detail right now, it's because I'm actually currently making an alt. Um, I'm getting myself 117 invention on this account to do with the machines. Um, let's go ahead and fletch some here. Uh, but I'm getting 117, 117 invention to do the machines, get the um, the fletching, not the fletching, the, uh, the plank making machines uh, that way I can profit off of having this account up and what I'm doing with this account is I'm gonna be scouting octail bubbles um, for obviously divine locations uh, because I'm just sick and tired of like hopping world to world to world to find them and then eventually just settling for a cavefish and I just really would like to have rock tails um, more often uh, there's two reasons that one it's just faster to cap I mean sure cavefish does give me an extra like 2,000 experience a day but Obviously, that's not exactly a big deal. Um, I'd much rather have the better healing food and the faster cooking XP and all that nonsense. 
because obviously I just use rock tails everywhere. I don't really ever use cave fish. Um, I kind of use them for random small shit, like right now I'm doing the, uh, the so obelisk for Menophos, uh, and that's like the only time I've really used them. I've actually been using my sharks and, um, uh, freaking monkfish that I just have in there, because obviously I have a bunch of sharks from our drop table. Uh, it's actually a bit nuts. I'm kind of curious how many I'm going to end up getting. Oh, I was like, why am I getting, like, extra herbs? Like, what the fuck? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna guess how many raw, I mean, raw sharks I'm gonna get from 200 more combat. It's just off of a drop table. It's gonna be a bit nuts. Um, but yeah, and also, just kind of what I've been up to these past few days. So I've been getting a lot of skill uh, outfit pieces. I just, I was sick. I got the full fletching outfit. Uh, Stone Creation was on Spotlight, and I got that knocked out of the way. Um, I didn't get any of the crafting pieces yet. Uh, mostly because I just don't care for the crafting piece since I'm doing all of my crafting at harps, which means it's not really like technically the same any time. Sure, that means I can, if I had the outfit, that means I can move to other team viewing activities faster, but for now I don't care. I will get it in the next, the next spotlight in like in a month and a half or so, uh, simply because every 10 minutes in a spotlight minigame is equal to one, um, or is equal or 20 minutes in a spotlight minigame is equal to a boosted castle wars game. So I guess 10 minutes equal to one castle wars ticket, which obviously be very useful since I am going for trim uh, over the next couple of months. So that's gonna help me a lot there. And I, I am do I will get the crafting outfit eventually because you know just completionist stuff. Um, so there's no point in just waiting until later. And I just realized my knife is uh, gone. Where is another knife? There we go. Perfect. Uh, and I just realized, and I, I obviously want to get that before I get the um, charm rack done for that, because obviously it'd be kind of better to get it now than later. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's pretty much just doing a lot of mini game stuff. Uh, just, that's really it. I mean, I'm not really playing that much. Uh, I only have like maybe like just like three or four hours a day to play, so don't expect anything crazy. Um, I will start doing dungeoneering again today. I don't think there's anything that's going to be coming up anytime soon. Um, yeah, Cast Wars isn't for another month. Uh, all the other mini games I'm going to be doing won't be doing for a while, anyways. I want to get to my dungeon during before I do my Barbarian Assault Mobilizing Armies mini game requirements done on uh, Spotlight. Um, so once I get to normal dungeoning, I will start doing those. I just get them knocked out. Uh, obviously, the Mobilizing Armies one will take a couple Spotlights to get done, but the Barbarian Assault, I'd Obviously, you can get that done over the over the course of the three days. It's going to be on spotlight, um, but yeah, that's really that's really it. Uh, nothing nothing crazy. I did get my first Telos kill today. Um, it's kind of funny. I was I only I didn't watch any guys or anything. I kind of just went in there and I said screw it. I got it as a reaper task, and I said you know what? Let's try and just like you know learn it myself. And I went there with full range um, because obviously it's just like my best setup right now. I I didn't think melee. Would be best because I do have equivalent to melee and have the scythe and full malevolent and all that nonsense. Um, but I don't have full sea singers, so I didn't think about using magic. Neither, I mean, even if I did have it, I probably wouldn't have thought about it anyways. But I went in there in the fight and I was getting meleeed and ranged the entire time, or maged the entire time, and I was like, huh, I guess mage will probably make this a lot easier. Um, and I ended up getting the kill with absolutely no food in my inventory, in my pack yak, and I had like a thousand and a half health left. So that was pretty damn close to it, but I did get it. Um, obviously, I won't be doing it anytime soon until I get my full soul, my full sea singers, um, which to kind of show how far behind I'm on that. Where the fuck are this? I still have quite a bit more to go. Yeah, see, I still have three skulls for the legs and then four total just for the helmet. Um, and I don't have tectonic or anything. My literally my best armor is Ganondormic, and obviously I'm not gonna go kill Telos and Ganondormic. Um, and like, I'm not in a rush to get it anyways, to kill him anyways. Uh, I just need to get the 100% rage kill for Trim, which again, I have like five months to do that, so I'm not really worried. I should have full Sea Singers by then anyways, so at least that better, because I kind of want to get full Sea Singers just so I can have it for whenever I need it. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's really it for now, and uh, yeah, let's go DG.